Hey folks, how are you doing? Um, it's Monday. Monday morning. Um, what a good Monday morning it is too. I woke up early, got some stuff done on my, well, all my stuff done on my morning value list. The list I make of stuff that I value. Um, but I do morning, noon, and night. Um, so, uh, I believe it's only like 10 something right now, um, in the morning. So I got two hours. I think I might read a little bit, um. And, uh, I'm reading a book called, uh, Every Man's Marriage. Uh, it's a really good book. Um, if there's anything that, um, that you should know about me besides I'm a Christian is that I value my wife. I love my wife more than anything. I love being married to her, um. Marriage has been one of the greatest blessings to me. Um, it's challenging at times, but it's really grown me as a person. And um, it's one of the things I look fondest upon. I spent some time in the Word this morning um, reading the book of Job. That's a tough book. Um, it really is. I, uh, I, uh, it's very poetic, actually. Um, It's harder to understand than the book of Psalms, which is a poetic book. Um, I get that Job is, you know, really suffering and he's, he's having a hard time, which Job is really a, a great book to show that you know, you're able to have a hard time as a Christian and and still be a Christian, you know. Um, you're able to suffer uh, in Christ. You can suffer. And uh, Job is a great example of that. Um, You know, people really need to be authentic in their relationship with God. And, and you know, Christians that put on a Sunday morning face, you know, uh, and say, oh, everything's great, everything's always great. When they're when they're suffering isn't being very authentic. Job was very authentic in his in his suffering, um, and something we all can learn from because we really aren't we we really aren't going to win people to Christ by uh, lying to them about what it's like to be a Christian. I realize. Christ, being a Christian isn't all suffering, but we still are people, and we still um, we still suffer, you know. And uh, so, for whatever that's worth. Um, Yeah. 
I'm also reading in the book of Matthew. I'm I'm reading. A, I'm on a one year reading plan, and so far it's going pretty good. I read usually two days, at a, each day, and on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I usually don't read. So, um, so Monday through Thursday I usually read, uh, like eight chapters and stuff, and then I usually catch up, uh, the following, uh, the following Monday or whatever, so, um, so far the reading plan's going good, I'm reading in uh, Job right now, Matthew, Psalms, and Proverbs. Um, all of them are really good books. Uh, each one's very different from the other. Um, I like this reading plan because a lot of times I would I would get into the Bible and be all gung ho and I'd be reading like twenty chapters a day <laughs> and I'd get burnt out and I would uh, I would go long periods of time without reading the Bible and uh that's not good. Um I think it's good to read uh, a set amount each day, a uh, amount that's not too much, a amount that keeps you in the Word, and, uh, you know, um, whatever you read each day, as long as you stay in the Word. Uh, I know my... Friend Tina is getting a little frust frustrated reading the Bible. It's it's a hard book to read. It really is. Um, it took me. It it's a book you really take a lifetime reading, and each time you get a little something different out of it. You know. Um, you know, when you start reading it, it's very challenging to understand and um, get much out of it. In fact, it's very tedious and boring a lot of the time when you start out reading it. Um, but something you need to stick with because through faith in Christ, uh, through faith in the Word, and faith in the spirit it's something you believe that you should be doing each day or try be doing each day um so um you know for all you people out there reading the Bible just know I'm uh, I'm praying for you guys that you guys um, get as much out of the word as you can um, that you guys don't give up that you guys that the word sticks with you and comes up in your mind in conversations that you have that that you uh, are able to uh, speak the word to others um, and all this I pray for you in Jesus' name Amen well folks um, I wish you a blessed day I'm a little tired as you can tell but it's been great uh, stopping by and talking with you. Remember, who loves you? I love you.
Goodbye.